Okay, let's head over to the Beko Kitchen. As Mark, you're going Korean on us this morning. That's right. I love Korean food. So what are we actually going to be making? So we're going to be making uh, pancakes. Mm, so we've got yeah. some sautéed squid in there. We've got some kimchi in there to give us a bit of spice and texture. Uh, spring onions, chilli and a nice little dipping sauce to go with it. Okay, so spicy Korean mm. pancakes. Yeah, that sounds delicious. Okay, we'll get the recipe a little later on. Mark, this is exciting. Love a good Korean dish. Some of my favourite restaurants to visit. So what are we doing today? Right, so we've got Korean pancakes. Pancakes. So Korean normally you pancakes. Think pancakes, the sweet, yes. these are Korean ones. Drizzled in maple syrup. Yep, so we're not going to do that today. Right, you're going to make so them spicy. We are going to make them spicy, <laughs> so we're going to do a pancake pancake mix, which okay, is a good. little bit different. I'm into this. Um, and then we've got some kimchi, which is going to flavour it yes. through our mixture, and we're going to uh, cook it with some spring onions, we've got some squid there, nice. some more chilli in there. It's Brilliant. going to be great, really simple, really easy, and a little uh, dipping sauce as well. Oh, nice. Okay, well, let's get cracking. Right, so squid first. Yes, just like so, you did last time. Yeah, so we did this last time, so top and tail. Yep. Cut it out um, here, and then mm -hmm. you can... Um, just trim any sinew off, and then you can score it on the in, on the side. Okay, good. And this will just help uh, you flash fry it and make it nice and tender. Okay. It won't curl up though, will it? No, it will curl up. I will curl. But what we're going to do is we want to do little strips. So we're going to do little fine strips because ah, it's going to go in the okay. pancake. Oh, I see. You don't want too big a chunks of it, do you? Yeah. I yeah. see what we're doing. Okay, right. So great. we're going to get that. So we've got that. Yes. And if you can't be bothered doing that, just do some nice slices. Okay. Like that. Oh, yeah. right. We keep it easy around here. Yeah, we do. We like the easy ways. There you go. So there's two different ways of doing it. Nice. Right, so we've got our squid. Yep. So I've got a big pan on there, so it's nice and hot. So you can pop a little bit of oil in there. Okay. Really crank up the heat now. Make sure your oil's warm and it's smoking, and then you can throw the squid in. Give it a good stir fry, salt and pepper, and then take it out. It won't take long to do, so about a minute. Okay, cool. Right, and then we're going to start making the uh, batter mix. Right, so I've got some flour. So I've got some uh, corn flour, some rice flour, mm -hmm. and some normal flour. That's for a in. pancake mixture, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. And then got a little bit of uh, onion um, powder and some garlic powder as well. So we're flavouring that up. Oh, yum. Right. Okay. So we're just going to mix all those dry ingredients together. There you go. Lovely. So that's what you want to hear. You want to hear that sizzle, see the smoke. And, and just keep stir frying it around. Okay, cool. We're well, starting to curl already. There you go. And it, so it won't it won't take long. And we're going to put this. We're going to pop it in the pancake as well. So it will get a little bit more cooking. But you pretty much want to have it just cooked. Okay, cool. And it's very quick to squid, isn't it? Oh yeah. Yeah, really, really, really quick. So it's a really fast recipe as well. So you probably. So you'll be ready before I've even made the pa uh, batter mix. <laughs> That's all right, it can just rest, can't it? Yeah, yeah, no, so it's good. Right, so just got in, um, we've got some uh, sparkling water as well. Oh, okay, cool. And then, pancake mixture. Yeah, so a pancake mixture. So I'm just adding that so we get a nice consistency. And then we have got our kimchi. So can you, make, you can make this yourself. Right. Right, so I'm just going to just roughly chop it, just so it's a little bit smaller. And, and then it'll go through the batter. While you're chopping that, why do we use soda water for that? Why can't we just use oh, it's, it's just going to help with the rise. Okay, cool. So, so if you've got soda water, mixture. obviously yeah. use it. It'll, it'll make it a better product. Um, worst comes to the worst, just use some normal water, you know? Okay, don't, cool. Don't miss out on the recipe just because of that. Okay, sweet. Right, so kimchi goes in. You know, and any liquid as well from the kimchi, you know, you can pop that in as well. That's going to give you an extra bit of spiciness in there. You know, if, if you don't want it too spicy, you want to tone it down a bit, don't pop that extra liquid in there. Okay, it's looking good. Look, but you can see that, so you can good. see that colour now. Yeah. You know, it's nice and chunky, and kimchi's great, you know. It's it's, it's like fermented cabbage and chilli and, mm. and all those flavours, you know. It's, and it's really good fun, you know. You can make it yourself, um, but it will stink the house out. But it'd be well worth it. Well worth it. Okay, cool. Squid's right. ready? Squid's ready. Right, so I've got, um, I've got some spring onions. I'm just going to chiffonade the tops. I'm going to put the tops through there. Okay. The rest, I'm just going to cut these bases off, and I am going to cut them in half. You can pop a little bit of oil into this pan now, where okay. we're going to cook uh, our pancake. Mm -hmm. And then what I'm going to start doing is start browning these. So okay. we're going to get a nice bit of colour on these. Yep. And then we're going to build our pancake through there and put our squid in, and it's all going to come around this. It's going to be chunky, textured. Oh, oh, oh. 
and spicy. OK, well, I can't see the rest of this, which we will see straight after we catch up with Holly. It's a spicy Korean pancake this morning, so we've done our squid, our spring onions are looking quite nice, got a bit of colour on there. Yeah, so we're starting to get a bit of colour on them. Yeah. Right, so now spread them out. The mixture's done. If you missed it early, it's easy to find. Just go to our website. That's it, and we're going to pop this on now. OK. So, wants to be nice and chunky, but nice and even, OK? So, I'm just going to push it down, making sure it all goes through the insides, and then obviously get your batter, make sure it's going through all those spring onions because the batter's going to sort of hold it, hold all, it all together. Right, that makes sense. Right, so keep it on like a, a medium heat now. Yep. Probably about three minutes, we'll get some nice colour and we'll flip it over and cook it the same. Okay. Uh, this is a good time now to um, slice some chilli up and put some chilli on top. And while we're watching this pancake develop, is it the same as normal pancakes, just wait for the aerated bubbles to start happening? Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Okay, cool. Sweet. And then obviously always check it as well, so you can get a little palette knife, have a look at the colour on the inside. You know, if it's not ready or if it's too soft and you try right. and flip it, it's all going to it's gonna be a disaster. Okay, cool. You know, so Browning up nicely. Yeah, yep. so it's sort of browning up nicely. <laughs> God, it's going to be spicy, isn't it? It is. <laughs> That's all right. You don't need to put that much chilli on, unless you like it spicy. Right, squid can go on top as well, so okay, spread cool. that out. Excellent. And then, you see, pancakes cooking. Um, you know, this is a whole lunch in, in one yeah. pan here. That's great. Okay, good. Right, and then we're going to do a little, um, a really small uh, dressing. Uh huh. Or an easy dressing, not a small dressing. Right, so I've got some soy sauce, rice wine vinegar, splash of water just to take that saltiness out, a little bit of sugar just to uh, balance it out. Give that a good whisk, make sure your su uh, sugar's dissolved. And then we've got some sesame seeds. Yeah. So toast them. Okay. Okay. So what we want to do now is um, we're going to get grab a pan. Yeah. We'll do this after. Yeah. But we'll toast them, get a really good colour on them, and then pop them straight into your dressing, and that will just release Ooh. this amazing flavour. Really simple, but that with the pancakes and the texture and the chilli, it's going to be absolutely amazing. Okay. Cool. Just there you go. How's it looking? Oh yeah, no, it's good. Yeah. You know what we do in England with pancakes? You give it a shake and then you flip it over. Yeah, you're gonna risk that? I'm <laughs> no, not gonna do it. <laughs> I could potentially do it, but I might ruin it. And we've only got one made. Yeah, I know. Should I give it a go? No, no, no. no okay. Get a, <laughs> no, no, get a palette knife and then flip it over. Or alternatively, if you get a plate, flip it over onto the plate and then slide it back. Into okay, the cool. Do you, you want to have a look at the end of it? I need a plate. Have we got a plate. Hang on. I'll just grab a plate because this will be the safest way to do it. <laughs> Okay, cool. Yeah, that's it. So and make sure your plate fits, so perfect fit. Flip it out. Wow, look at that. Oh, slide it back oh, in. Oh, look at that. So same same on the other side. Beautiful. You've done that before? No, never. Just just well trained, Mark. <laughs> that's what that's called. Well, oh, that is looking fantastic. Yum. Okay, it's going to be delicious. Of course, we'll see the finished sauce very soon. You can get the recipe at thecafe.co.nz and we will try it for you. Speaking of that, I'm going to clean up that plate because it smells delicious. <laughs> oh, no, yeah, it's come out well, yeah. Yeah, yeah, really good. Good, good flipping. flipping. Thank you. <laughs> What's on the menu tomorrow? Tomorrow I've got Chinese braised pork. Oh, yum.